Hi, my name is Sarah Harris, and I'm a certified veterinary technician and veterinary technician specialist in emergency and critical care at Dove Lewis. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to do the medical math to calculate oxygen flow rates using a rebreathing circuit. So for this math problem today, we have a 15 kilogram patient, and the induction rate uh, for a rebreathing circuit is 50 to 100 mils per kg per minute. So to start doing the math, we're going to do the low range first. So we're going to take 15 kilograms times 50. And that gives us 750. And to calculate the high range, we're going to do 15 kilograms times 100. And that is 1,500, excuse me. So our answer is 750 to 1,500, and that is mils per minute. Now, you may wonder where I got those numbers to fill in that formula. So um, the 15 kilogram, remember here, is the weight of our patient. So that is a set number in both of those formulas. And then since this is a, in, an induction range, we're gonna have a high and a low to figure out. So I got the 50 from there, which is the low range, and the 100 is the high range, which goes there. So we just completed that formula, but if you looked at your oxygen flow meter, you're gonna notice that it doesn't actually go up to 1500. And that's because oxygen, oxygen flow meters typically are in liters per minute. So to convert your, your calculations into liters per minute, you have one more step. So to figure out this low range, we're gonna do the low end of the range, we're gonna take 750 divided by 1,000, and that gives us 0 0.75. And to calculate the high end of this formula, we're gonna take 1,500 and divide that by 1,000. And that gives us 1.5. So our end result here is 0 0.75 to 1.5 liters per minute, which is um, the value we need to um, actually put this number into the oxygen flow meter. So just to show you where I got those numbers there, we have um, the 750 was the low end of our induction range, and that goes there. 1,500 was the high end of our induction range, and that's just um, to convert it from milliliters into liters. Um, so your end result is right here, and that is 0 0.75 to 1.5 liters per minute. Um, just while we prepare this patient for a potential apneic event while they're being induced for anesthesia, I tend to go on the high range of this and I probably would start this patient on 1.5 liters per minute for the induction phase of anesthesia. So now we're gonna do the medical math to calculate oxygen flow rates using a rebreathing circuit, but we're gonna talk about the maintenance rate. And so when we talk about maintenance rate, we're basically saying what is the lowest um, flow rate that we can use to deliver our anesthetic while still thinking about things like you know, patient temperature and clinic costs. So um, if they're doing really well under anesthesia, we can actually get our oxygen flow rates um, down lower than they were in the induction phase. And the formula we use for that is 22 to 44 mils per kg per minute. So using the same 15 kilogram patient, we're gonna figure out the low range uh, for maintenance flow rates. And so we have 15 kilograms times 22, and that equals 330. And the high range of that formula is 15 kilograms times 44, and that equals 660. So our result is 330 to 660 mils per minute. And to show you where I got those numbers, um, 15 kilograms is the weight of our patient, and that is a set number in both formulas. And that next number is the low range 
of our oxygen flow rate, 22 is that number here, and the high range is 44, and I put it in there. So remember though that our oxygen flow meters don't, aren't read in mils per minute. So 660 is not a number that we can put in, so we need to convert that to liters per minute. So to convert our answer to liters per minute, we're gonna take the 330 divided by 1,000, and that equals, oh, excuse me, I left a zero, 330 divided by 1,000, and that equals 0 0.33, and that's the low range, but the high end of our formula is 660 divided by 1,000, and that equals 0 0.66. So our maintenance um, low flow oxygen rate is 0 0.33 to 0 0.66 liters per minute. And where I got those numbers are um, the low end um, of our formula was 330, we calculated up there, so that's the number I put there. And the high end is 660, which I put in there, and I divided it by 1,000 to convert milliliters into liters. Um, so our flow meter, the range that we can use once they're under general anesthesia and they're in the maintenance phase is 0 0.33 to 0 0.66 liters per minute. So that's really low, and I'm gonna warn you that these can actually go really, really low, but I don't ever like to go below 0 0.5 and for my oxygen flow rate because I want to make sure that it's providing enough oxygen to carry those molecules of your inhaler anesthesia um, safely to the patient. So that is how you do the medical math for calculating oxygen flow rates for a rebreathing circuit.